I'm better than that now. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hi. If you <laughs> thank you for having me, Tom. <laughs> yeah, cheers. No, um, we better we better welcome the audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah, welcome to the video. Um, <laughs> there is uh, it, there is a albums video that you can check out. Yep. For this artist, the beat, or you may know them as the English beat, depending, depending on where you're from. Yeah. So, um, but we're going to refer to them as the beat. Because In, indeed, because I don't know, I don't know you're the beat. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, Get with it. We're going to count uh, down our top ten songs because they do not have ten on my albums. I know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it'll be interesting to see mm. if we have any overlap. Um, yeah. I assume we'll have at least one or two songs, but I reckon so. What's your number 10, Sam? My number 10 from Special Beat Service is um, Pato and Roger Agoto. Oh, nice. Which, for no other reason, is just to give kudos to Ranking Roger. Just like you've had suppers ready in your list <laughs> and for having I'll stand, stand by, by you. you. <laughs> I've kind of got to give a note to Ranking Roger. Even though I'm not really getting much out of his songs, they are crazy. <laughs> and I just want to say, you know what? I respect it completely. And that song is fun. It <laughs> is, right? <laughs> If you don't know that song, please listen to it. Yeah, it's... otherwise what I'm saying there will make yeah, no exactly. sense. Um, yeah, no, I d wasn't that close to making my list. It probably won't surprise you, but no. it, was, it was fun. Uh, my number 10 from Wappen, the only one that's going to make yep. it. Get a job. Um, great guitar, great sax. A bit more lively than the rest of that album, which, to be honest, kind of passed me by a little bit. Mm -hmm. but that one was towards the end and really like, ooh. A bit like Dance Away on Manifesto. I was a bit like, ah, here we are. Nice, yeah. Something for me. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Get a Job's Good. A nice discovery in this week. This mm -hmm. week, yeah. This week, th th this rendition. Yeah. <laughs> We're not weekly upload no. kind of channel. Oh, God. Right, my number nine, back to back from Special Beat Service, is Sugar and Stress. It's a good one. Yeah. It is a really good one, and it just, it's another reason why you should listen to the B side. It's a fantastic song, and I really. Skip the A side. Don't know about it. I mean, unless you want to catch Rotating Head, which if you're Tom, you don't. I think you, Sugar and Stress is a really good song. It's certainly, it's, it's one of those songs that the lyrics don't match up with the sound. The sound is really fun, and then the, the lyrics are doing something else. But I just. I'm 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 just bopping along to the beat all the way, and I really do enjoy that one. And mm. it just it just about made my list over some more in, interesting songs, like um, I'll give an honourable mention right now to Aki One Two Three, which mm -hmm. it was competing with this That's song to get song. in there. Yeah, it yeah. is, but overall, I chose yeah. Sugar and Stress. Mm -hmm. So my number nine is also from Special Beat Service. First, but will definitely not be the last. <laughs> Is she's going all right? Um, very yeah. short little gem. Um, it sort of passes you by before you know it, but it's so fun. Um, it's the she's leaving, do -do 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 -do, and then the, the again, the, Dave Wakeling's vocals are so charismatic and and just catch your ear. And you're just like, This guy's weird, but yeah. I like it, it's unique. Um, and then the <laughs> it's so great, I love that as well. <laughs> no, um, it is fun, it is. I think that's on the B side as well, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. yes, it yeah. follows immediately after "Save It for Later." Yeah, so oh, of course, yeah, and I think it 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 needs to be something a bit more, you know, a bit like massive. Yeah, the "Save It for Later" has got these massive strings and stuff, and yeah, she's going. It's just kind of like this low key little jam, which I like. So, yeah, my number eight, first entry from "I Just Can't Stop It," my number one album. Spoilers uh, for the albums video, mm. if which you haven't watched. Uh, is <laughs> is um, Best Friend. Oh yeah, great. It is a really good song. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, overall, with the beat, it's it's one of those things where you, I'm not reading into it as much as I have for some other artists. It's just one of those songs that added to the vibe that I really enjoy. Mm. Oh, the, the, the Best Friend. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really, it's fun. I mm -hmm. thought it was really fun and it's certainly one of the highlights of the album and the album's sound. I'm going to stick with the same album again Ooh. as you. Uh, with I just can't stop it, and it is the song that the album gets the title from, "Mirror in the Bathroom." Please feel free. I suspect you will be higher on your list. Um, superb bassline on this that really drives the song, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, honestly, like it didn't leave much of a lasting impression on me until. I went round and listened to my favourite songs again to make this list, and it was probably going to be an honourable mention, but it 
climbed up a little bit because I have had the melody stuck in my head yeah. quite a bit. It's got yeah, quite the momentum to it. It has. It's so, a really fast um, moving song, which is fabulous. So I can see why to. a punk ska band would want to cover it. So yeah, Ruin the Bathroom's great. Fabulous. Um, my number seven um, from Wappen <laughs> is, is Doors of Your Heart. Yes, yeah, I enjoyed that one. Yeah. Which is a really fun one. Is it the opening song? It is, yeah. Yeah, the star garden on the doors of your mm -hmm. heart. Yeah. yeah, it's it's one of the more soft versions of Dave Wakeling's vocal, I think. But still encapsulated all the uniqueness that comes with listening to him. And I really did enjoy it. Um, I haven't got many in entries from Wappen, mm -hmm. as you probably gather from the fact mm -hmm. that it's the, the bottom album. But it's still one of the... The catchiest songs mm. on the on the um on the album. My other entry that will come a bit later on is a bit less catchy, but still quite interesting. But I'll talk about that a bit later on. Tantalizing. Number seven. We're going back to special beat service. And we're going with Soul Salvation, which oh, right. uh, was on the A side. It was. Um, it's it's sort of the most similar to Save It For Later, I think, on the album, in the sense that it is just a straight-up pop song. Yeah. Um, Dave's <laughs> vocals, again, so just... It is how he just, like, crams so many syllables into a line. <laughs> and it sounds like he's about to burst. Yeah, it's times. almost like rap. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really cool, but he's got such a great vocal range as well. Mm. Um, and yeah, Soul Salvation is just one of those great songs when it gets to the end of the chorus and goes into the sax... It really, like, it's one of those choruses where the chorus, I think, isn't the best part of the song. It's sort of like the end of the chorus into the, between the chorus and the verse. That is because it's like, builds and builds and builds and then just releases. So, yeah, Soul Salvation is great. Really, really fun. Yeah. Great. Cool. Um, my number six from I Just Can't Stop It is Click Click. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that. But that's a, that's a good little. Song. It's very like, oh my god, what's going on there? Kind of song. It's, it's a minute and a half. Yeah, it's a, it's over like that. Finger, finger, trigger, trigger, click, click, <laughs> click, click, click. <laughs> what was that? I have no idea what that was. Oh, that was a Gavin and Stacey box set. All right, well, that, <laughs> how fitting. This is all staying in. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Why why would we edit it out? It's marvelous. I'll I'll put that there for now. I'll then make more damage. Carry on, sorry. There's, I don't know, there's something about, the, the, the in, interestingly with that one, I'm listening to lyrics and I'm going, what in God's name is he talking about? Is he, is he actually talking about a gun? Are we, are we shooting someone? <laughs> <laughs> um, and yet, because it's Dave Wakely, I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the way it just ends like that, <laughs> just before you can really properly get into Process it. Process it, yeah. yeah. it's just over and you're like, wait, what just happened? But it made an immediate impact mm. on me. And it's probably one of the reasons why I managed to get that thing, up, that album up to number one. Mm. It's, it's a few of the songs like that on that album that were just like this is pretty like you're not going to find this in many other no, places no. And that's what makes the beats One of charming. Kind, yeah. yeah um and yeah is that that sort of that combination of the scar rhythms and and stuff with the pop sensibility that makes them so cool like i mentioned that's why i had wapping at the at the bottom yeah because it doesn't really have that mix no that's right so number six also from i just can't stop it hands off she's mine so good. Um, I think this is just... I, I obviously like Mirror in the Bathroom quite a lot, and then this comes, and I like it even more. Yeah. And the momentum of the album is, is coming. It doesn't quite hold it throughout, but for most of the album, it does. They constructed it well at the beginning. Yeah, it's incredibly catchy. Once you've heard it once, you know how it goes for the rest of your life. It's, that melody is not escaping you. And I'm sure some people probably find the melody quite annoying, but I think it's... it's You're not brilliant. some people. Yeah. But from here on out, it is going to be a special beat service domination. All so, right. Um, I've got a bit more variety still mm, to come. Yeah. So. Uh, my number five, last entry from Wham, mm -hmm. uh, is Dream Home in NZ. Well, New, New Zealand, Zealand yeah. yes. On, on Spotify, it says NZ, at least. So mm. I thought I'd be, thought I'd be fun. <laughs> uh, it's an odd song, and I think as time goes on, it won't hold that position i'm gonna be honest but right now i'm i'm quite enjoying that the way wakeling does get so many words in mm. and it bounces along that mm. melody and there's something very dark about mm -hmm. dreaming new zealand which you don't get a lot in the discography is something a little bit unsettling almost about it 
a bit haunting, but not not haunting as in like, oh, it's really dark, mysterious. It's like haunting. It's just like, yeah, don't get you. And and I really like the way it goes, dream of in New Zealand, mm. and the repetition. Yeah, 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 I think that it's got a really, again, something unique about it. It's something quite um, charming, <laughs> and I think that. Yeah, Dream of New Zealand at the moment is my favourite song from that, but I reckon one day things will move around. Nice. My number five was an honourable mention for you. You mentioned Aki, Aki 123. One, two, three. What a fun closer. Like, I feel like a lot of albums try and do album closers like these big epic songs. Like, But this is just like the most fun party sing-along, yeah. like Rogers laughing in the chorus. Um, <laughs> it's like so great. It's 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 got the big group vocals and it's just you know it shouldn't really work but it does. It it's does. so fun, um, and it, it's kind of infectious and it's one of those great closers where I feel like the best closers are either you know that epic closer like I mentioned or something that is so infectious and fun that it makes you want to play the album again from the start, <laughs> which is what Aki One Two Three is. It's like you don't want the album to end when that's playing because you're like oh so so good, so. <laughs> That's my number five. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. My number four is from Special Beat Service, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to have this one in your list. Rotating head. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> but mainly off of the back of the fact that it they then use that melody in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which is one of my all-time favourite films. Mm -hmm. So they, you, it's got, got a sentimental attack. Exactly. Yeah. Even though I didn't know the song beforehand, I it had built-in mm. sentimentality to it. And I think it's I think the thing I think that is probably just it. It's just I love Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and it reminds me of that. Just the, everything coming up. I was like, ah, oh, that's that bit. Mm. I maybe it's maybe objectively speaking, I wouldn't have had list, it a good song. Yeah. yeah, so I just really enjoy it because of the connection to Ferris Bueller's Day Off, mm. and clearly someone in the production team there thought it was pretty good for them to then go right. Let's let's make a longer version of this, but without the words, and then we'll have him have it, have this teenager running home to it. <laughs> And it's a, it's a classic film. Highly recommend. Probably more than the song. <laughs> it's there because of that. Fair enough. My number four, sticking with Special Beat Service. Surprise, surprise. Um, it is End of the Party, which I just had the final song and now I've got the penultimate song. Right. Love the piano and the acoustic guitar. It's a very different sound for them, but it mm. still carries the same kind of pop momentum that the whole album has. It just the instrumentation uses is a bit different. Um... And then, yeah, Dave's vocals, again, very interesting on this song. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it gives it a lot of character and a lot of sort of charm. So, yeah, End of the Party is really great. It's always been one of my favourites. In fact, if we'd have done this list a few months ago, it would probably be my number two on my list. But it's number wow. four now. Oh, right. Mm. Oh, God. Right, cool. My bronze medal comes from I Just Can't Stop It. And it's Twist and Crawl. Yeah, that one didn't really stand out to me, but interesting. No, it's again another one with wakeling borderline rapping. <laughs> and there's something a little bit vengeful about it, mm. which I think is pretty awesome. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's one that I am constantly repeating mm. along with the other two that are coming a little bit well, higher. I think, I think Maybe I'm... even more than the silver medal, I'm going to be honest. but I think I know what's coming for you. Yeah, yeah. I think I know what's coming for you as well. Mm -hmm. And on, on one instance, I'm obviously not thrilled. But I know I, I know that's how you feel. Mm -hmm. And Twist and Crawl is one of those songs that you're not going to hear on the radio, obviously. Mm -hmm. And that makes it all the more special because it's it's really... Um, uh, less fun, but more like mm. rocking out. Yeah. Uh, even even though it's still got this scar element to it, and it's kind of one of the reasons why I think I'm I'm going to give that genre a little bit more credit in the future because I think it's it's really good and it's it's lyrics are very interesting. I recommend you check it out. It's telling a story, really. I think, um, and there's this kind of uprising in it, and I think it's really cool. Stick with I Just Can't Stop It. Number three, Best Friend. Ah, Love that song. Yeah. My favourite new discovery of doing this discography by far. It could fit like a glove on Special Beat Service. <laughs> That's probably why I like it so much. Um, like I said, new wave pop song. It's got a bit of talking heads. It's got a bit of like the Smiths and the Cure, but before they were around, which is very cool. 
Um, easily the best song on that album for me. I just think it's so catchy and fun and euphoric. Also, yeah, like you said, there's quite, sometimes quite the contrast between the lyrics and the and the sound. And I don't think the lyrics of that one are particularly chirpy. No. But the, the music is. So, yes. Yeah. So it's still a fun bop. Yeah. So are we going to sync up with our number one? Who knows? I hope so. My silver medal comes from I Just Can't Stop It and it's Mirror in the Bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I knew we'd have the same. Yeah, I knew too. <laughs> <laughs> we were just hoping that yeah, it would, yeah, you yeah. were just hoping it would be the case. I knew you yeah, would have that yeah. as number one. Mirror in the Bathroom is awesome. I think it's really fun. It's a great first impression that I had on the band and it's got me to sort of come along and explore this along this ride. Mm. I think it's really... It, it doesn't make that much sense, which is just wicked for me, <laughs> because I, I do like things, not necessarily in music, but I like things in life that don't make a lot of sense. Mm. Um, and that song is just, it's carrying a great rhythm, which I think gives yeah, credit to line. like yeah. the, the craziness that's mm. in the lyrics. It's, what the hell is he talking about? Mirror in the bathroom, I just can't stop it. Yeah, every Saturday you see me window shopping. Find their interest in the racks and shells. Just 10,000 reflections of my own sweet self. Self, self. Yeah, it's so weird. What? <laughs> but I love it. Yeah. I love it because of that. It's mm. just mental. And it's a great one to, to listen to. And I really do like getting involved with that song. And I think it's fantastic. Um, not number one worthy, though. Not by any not means. Not in this discography. No, no. Well, sorry, Sam. But I'm going to have to wax lyrical about yeah, a song you don't okay. like much. Fine. I confess is my number two, which was the other sing big single, well, not big single, but the other single, single that did well on Special Beat Service. Um, and I think this is my favourite song lyrically that they've done. Um, not that you'd be able to discern the lyrics from Dave's vocals <laughs> on the song, uh, but I've written some down. Uh, it's like the opening line, just out of spite, I confess I've ruined three lives. Now don't sleep so tight because I didn't care till I found out one of them was mine. Which is very interesting lyrics. Oh. Uh, sort of dealing with like him regretting his actions and how him fucking over other people has impacted him in a negative way Yeah, down the line. On top of the lyrics, you've also got a very catchy song. I know it's catchy in a bad way for Sam. Um, in the sense that, you know, they have the, oh, I come for... So he's doing this very weird, like, almost like croonery type vocal, which I really like. Um... Yeah, there's just a lot going on. Very energetic, very fun. Instrumentation's great. Great guitars and like bongos and all this kind of stuff. But yeah, I think the core song, like the lyrics, were the best they did, in my opinion. Very interesting and introspective. Um, so I confess lands at number two for me. And, you know, I feel like it would be number one in a lot of discographies for me, but not this one. Not even close. No, not because even close. Our joint number one is uh, sooner or later your legs get weak, you hit the ground, save it for later. Don't run away and let me down. Just had to be. Yeah, like it's epic. Yeah. It's absolutely epic. And what business does the beat have bringing in violins and all of that lot? And just what, what a just total standout mm -hmm. in their discography. Um, as soon as we were, you played me that song, that guitar coming mm -hmm. in, I was like, Ah, okay. I, yeah, I love this yeah, song. Yeah. Like immediately, it's that Dave Wakeling rhythm guitar. That's yeah, sort of the, uh, and yeah, it's very yeah. rare that I know from like first mm. few chords is I'm gonna love a song, mm. and it's it just carried on with that. And I really do love the melody. And yeah, the lyrics are very interesting. Mm. And I I think I've worked out what they're talking about. I I haven't. No, <laughs> but I think I think. In a way, that's kind of poetic because mm. it can mean we could have totally different interpretations mm. of that song, and I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, you can take whatever you want out of it. Nonetheless, it's an absolutely fantastic song just to really rock out to and listen to, and it's it's. It's not slower, but I guess a lot of the beat is very fast. Yeah, I guess so it's, it's more it's still sort of... a quick moving song, yeah. but it seems it seems slow in comparison, <laughs> at least in comparison to I just can't stop it. In I general. think I think it's because the it's less frantic. Yes, and it's not as based on percussion. Like the like you said, the guitar sort of drives the song. It really does. And then the obviously you have the the violin from the start. Then the big string section comes in. Mm. The da, 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 da. It's like, oh my god! It's it, 
it feels so massive mm. but not in a way that a lot of 80s songs feel massive where they rely on like synths or like just making no, it's a very just putting loads sound. of echo on the drums which is a, a tactic a lot of <laughs> Phil Collins <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know it's yeah. it's just a really I, I honestly think it's one of the best pop songs of the 80s I think it's brilliant I, 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 underrated yeah it, is, it, it doesn't get better really in the 80s for me it might be my favourite song of the entire 80s Whoa. possible not definite but possible so it's definitely up there it is a fantastic song yeah, and if you've never heard it somehow like come on that guitar I am you should have heard it you should have heard it by now I'm in love with that guitar yeah so, any honorable mentions before we? Uh, Aki one, two, yeah. three. That was pretty much. It. I have a couple, both from Just Can't Stop It. Um, can't get used to losing you, funnily enough. And <laughs> click, click was also. I, I'll also do Stand Down, Margaret. Yeah, that was yeah. That, just because it was fun to hear yeah. it in the wild. <laughs> and yeah, click, click as well. I agree with what you were saying. It's a really good song. So that's the beat done. Yeah, um, very simple discography to talk about because it's like it was fun. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you could tell that I really enjoyed it because basically my commentary is just. Oh, look, I'll sing you this bit. Don't you like it now? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's yeah. all I could say. So, it's a really fun listen. Yeah, and um, I think we're recording the cardigans as well today, and we both agreed that the cardigans would have a bit more yeah, on the line. That's why we've done this yeah. first. Yeah, so look out for that, hopefully, in the next week or two after you've seen this. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. What is that voice? I don't know. <laughs> it's not going to stay for the cardigans, <laughs> anyway.